uh, because you are going to be working on this the rest of the semester. And also keep in mind that you need to have uh, several tables that you can create uh, from whatever you are doing the database on. So I've got a link to the directions. You need around six tables. Uh, and then for each of your tables, you're gonna add five to six uh, rows of data, okay? And so I've got some examples here of, uh, you know, generic tables. You can see way more than six, but, you know, just to give you some ideas. And I also have an example that I walked through. So here's a video and here is my example. Uh, and then, you are gonna do something similar. So do I expect yours to be perfect? No. Um, in fact, I expect that you guys are gonna need some help with this. So give it your best shot, uh, specify your primary keys and your foreign keys, put data into your tables. Uh, you should have around six. Uh, remember, if you're going to store address information, that zip code should be its own table, zip code, uh, city, and state. Uh, and as I said, I don't expect this to be perfect. So what I do, you, you will get all the points for turning in the required work. Okay. And what I do is I go through each uh, spreadsheet and make sure that you have it normalized correctly. Uh, and I can do this with you live in Zoom, or I can do a video and kind of walk through any changes that you need to make. So uh, I don't want you guys to get stressed out about this. Uh, like I said, I don't expect it to be perfect. Give it your best shot. Uh, there are plenty of examples. You can watch the video uh, that shows you how I developed my fictional business. And um, so you're gonna save this and you will submit it. And then you will also create an ER diagram from that. Uh, so those are the two things that you need to turn in. You have to identify primary and foreign keys, okay? Because that's how you connect your tables and you should try to have them normalized through third normal form. Uh, and once you submit this, I will take a look at it. Uh, and if you would like me to meet with you in Zoom, when you submit that, uh, please indicate uh, in the Dropbox, you can add a little message you know, that says that you would like to meet in Zoom. So down here for online text, just say, um, please meet with me in Zoom. Otherwise, if you would prefer a video showing you changes, just you can indicate, hey, I'd like a video. If you don't indicate anything, I'm probably going to do a video. <laughs> so that, just to let you know. Um, so that is what you're going to be working on. Uh, and once you finish that, uh, then uh, there is a discussion on legal and ethical issues involved in data sharing. So this is one of our significant learning outcomes. And rather than having you guys write a paper, I am doing this as a discussion. And so uh, you're gonna research one of these topics. Uh, you should have at least three sites that you reference, and then you're gonna summarize uh, what you found. So in your post, you're going to post the three links. And how do you do that? You use the link here. And so if I was going to do individuals right to privacy, which I think is interesting, I might copy and paste that to see what kind of results I get. 
And let's say I liked this article. If I click up here, I can press control and the letter C to copy. And then I can come over here, press control and the letter V as in Victor, open it in a new window and create the link. Okay, press enter. So you need three of those. And then uh, you have to summarize uh, the, what the issue is, uh, kind of brainstorm on potential solutions to that and then indicate which of those solutions that you think is best and why, okay? And then uh, once your classmates have made posts, you can reply to at least two of your classmates, okay? And everything should be in full sentences and grammatically correct. So this is actually worth quite a few points. So make sure that you complete this uh, because it is actually worth more than some of your assignments. So that is the last thing that you need to work on this week. And again, once you submit that final project, uh, I will take a look at it and give you the feedback uh, so that you can make the adjustments before we move on to milestone two.